I like power cards, doubly so on defect. Spicy noodle bucket with 43 months. Try to get a one hit point burning elite. I do see we can go for lots of elite act elites in act one here. That's kind of tempting. I don't see other options that I like that much. Let's do it. Just high roll forehead. Easy. I'm actually already grateful that we picked Nyao's Lament as that first fight would have been a lot of damage taken. Let's see, we're fighting Hexaghost, so Static Discharge is actually a very good first card. Cleric. Take a card away. And Slime Goop. Give me my money back. Alright, just one more event that uh, needs to not be a combat. Easy peasy. Charge Battery is a good block card. If I can't take a damage card, I might as well take something. Heat Sinks is also not unreasonable, especially since we already have a Static Discharge. But I think I'm going to take the Charge Battery. Uh, with, with a Static Discharge, it's quite nice to have cards that can block for varying amounts. We do manage to get a Smiling Mask out of that node, which means our elite is deads. Easy peasy, free data disk. There's some focus. Only last run I'd seen it, and a storm. I knew it. Should have taken that heat sinks. I'll take this storm. I'm not taking a claw. Don't even think about it, Twitch chat. It's not happening. Play the storm just so that we don't draw it again. Powers, of course, attached to your character. They don't go to the discard pile or the exhaust pile. So you will not see them again. Aha! A power! Perfect. The start of your turn, add a random common card to your hand. Actually, exactly what you want. Early game as defect is more cards per turn. And, well, common cards are pretty good, actually. It's a really good blessing of the forge. It's a zap, dual cast, defense, strike, strike. I like that. Is it overkill to use both potions here? Maybe. Doesn't matter. Guess you're dying first, huh? go defend... Maybe it's defend Storm Hello World here. I think I'm going to keep this explosive potion. Go defend Storm Hello World. Take 15. But then we get a claw. The power. Okay, that elite wasn't easy, but we got a meat on the bone, which will heal us for successive combats, so we can keep up this aggressive line and keep upgrading without any consequence. Hyper Beam Hologram Core Surge. Ooh. Hyper Beam is kind of nice as a power deck complement, giving us a way to deal with multi-enemy fights nice and easy. Core Surge can be good later on, definitely. It's actually pretty good in the short term, too. I'm taking a Hyper Beam, though. I want a, uh, a way to kill slavers, as we just found out last run, that you really need something pretty spectacular if that fight's going to go well. Hmm. I'm just going to play this. Oh, Streamline. Let's play that. 
we streamline Zap. That way, if we see the streamline again, it'll be discounted. Also, my face. Ouch. Okay, what do you got, Attack Potion? I need help here. That definitely qualifies as help. Yoink. Thank you. I guess we'd like to dual cast a lightning, huh? Hmm. Actually, no. Dual cast a plasma. Dual cast frost? There's no way to do it, unfortunately. We play the meteor strike, the frost is gone. But we can full block, so that seems fine. Good fight. Sunder. Hmm. Sunder helps too. We've seen before that relying on just Hyper Beam usually means you lose when you don't draw the Hyper Beam. So having two cards is great. Might upgrade that Sunder too. Got lots of upgrades that I want. Although an outright card remove is pretty tempting as well. Los Riantos with 47 months. One away from four years? Oh my goodness. That's crazy, man. Just gonna go with the, the straight up remove. Less cards, better. Gremlin Nub, I'm not afraid of you today. You are no threat to me. Although we should do some basic math. What if I dual cast then hyper beam? We do 18 plus 34. Plus one from the Lightning Orb, one next turn, 24 from Sunder is 78 damage. That is exactly a kill. If I counted that correctly, and I didn't because there's actually one more. No, 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 yeah, one Lightning Orb, right? Yeah, so that's exactly a kill. Take 11. I'm cool with that. Notably, this does one damage this turn. And one damage this turn. Claw also helped us get there. Blah. Get a frozen egg. Okay. Now I can click on all the powers. I do regret not taking the heat sinks earlier. But I don't regret not taking the core surge because we can just take it now. Yes, Relic Bar is juicy. Ow. I guess take 11, heal 12 is fine, right? I like meat on the bone plus static discharge in particular. Genetic algorithm. Early enough algorithm to be pretty good. Cool headed and ball lightning are kind of whatevs. Let's grab uh, an algorithm here. Let's do it. Is Storm a good upgrade now, asks Chubbs. I think it is pretty soon. For Hexaghost, we should probably upgrade the Static Discharge first. But I think we can upgrade Storm after we get one more power, which will probably be from the boss. I see we also drew Discharge on turn one. Excellent. Prepare to get zapped, Hexaghost. Absolutely blap zapped. Block one time, but only one time. Hit me. Good stuff. 
Yeah, we're bottom decking Storm a bunch, which is a little awkward here. Let's just prevent ourselves from drawing it again, I guess. I don't want to full block this, as I'd rather get some free lightning orbs, so we're just going to do 10 block, take 2. That way there's more zip zappage. Incoming damage is 10, so I take 5 if I defend one time. Eh, I'll just full block. Dual cast, then rebound. I don't want to put that dual cast on top. Crypto, why does the defect never stay out of a relationship for long? Because they're excellent at the rebound. No refunds. But rebounds, just no refunds. Let's see, nine by two, Lock 16, we'll take some, that's fine. Don't want a full block. Six plus seven is thirteen, which is the exact incoming damage, huh? Oh well. We always explosive potion if we need to. We don't. GG, Hexanerd. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games and more. Give me an upgraded power. That sure is one. Oh, now I really regret not taking uh, heat sinks. Hopefully we'll find another upgraded one later. Creative VI creates a power every turn that's unlimited lightning orbs and unlimited scaling. It's perfect with cards like Storm. I could take two Storms. And we get real relics offered to us. Sozu Velvet Choker Runic Dome. It's actually not the world's worst Velvet Choker at the moment. Although in general, I don't trust Velvet Choker very much. As it prevents you from scaling in certain ways. Probably Runic Dome then. We can't see what the enemies are doing. But we can see what we're doing. And what we're doing is blapping. Kind of bad with uh, Static Discharge, though, as it makes it very difficult to take advantage of this card. So what about Sozu with Meat on the Bone? Is that acceptable? I guess so. Let's try it. Let the power of Zeus com compel you. Surely we're going to delete this act with Meat on the Bone. Right? Winky face. I do think with over 300 gold and a uh, smiling mask, we should get us to a merchant post haste. Two merchants would be appreciated, although is not required. Let's start at the first one. I think here. This gives me the option to go to another one or not. Or the option to do three elites. I'd like the option to do three elites. You again. And you're just as deadly as before. Excellent. My poor face. Not that we have any block cards to begin with, mind you. Oh, that's cool, Aria. Figure there'll be a bunch of updates for that game over the course of its development. Oh, we are so dead, man. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me? Avocado man. So now part of the problem is that we're in Act 2 and we have all these powers, but not a lot of front load. And that is a, a crippling thing here in Act 2. 
crippling, I tell you. But the good news is meat on the bone is here. Ugh. A difficult enemy. You're dying now. Whew. We're self repair when you want one. Go for the eyes, ball lightning. Uh, I don't think so. Meat value, save me. This fight should be a bit easier for us. Uh, let's go genetic algorithm defend. Get two lightning orbs for free. Take one. I should probably want it to take slightly more than one, huh? Don't play battery. And then we might not get a choice. Looks like we're taking 11, whether we like it or not. Sunder dual cast doesn't do it, right? 18 plus 24 plus 8. It's 50. Now we're 3 short. Potion would do it, but... Remember, I only have these two potions for the entire rest of the game. So using a potion here at the beginning of Act 2 is very questionable. This is enough though, yeah? Yeah, that's enough. Although, is that better than taking the hit? No, it's actually worse than taking the hit. As we lost one hit point that way by not healing for 12. Maybe that wasn't the right move. Oh well. Give me a reinforce. Will I play the Fox game again? Tunic? Yes, we'll be playing more Tunic on Saturday this week. I think I'll make that a Saturday regular until we finish it. We are going to play the entirety of Tunic on stream. Really like that game so far. Ooh, Apotheosis. Second creative AI? No, that's ambitious. I do like Art of War a lot for Defect. Art of War is really good. Fun options here. All-time favorite roguelite aside from Spire. Ooh, probably either FTL, Faster Than Light, or uh, Hades would be my top two, I think I would say. I can do Art of War and Apotheosis. It's actually not that many important upgrades. It's yet another setup card. Heck. I also like Monster Train quite a lot. That's another really good one. I think it's also absurd to not remove a strike here. So let's forget the Apotheosis. But I probably want to consider... No, we can do Toolbox. Let's do Toolbox. Better turn ones. Card remove and Double Relic. There we go. Knew there had to be a way. Let's go here. Uh oh. Secret tech will definitely help me on turn one. Thank you. Or will it? Hmm. Hmm. Let's just seek something I don't want to draw. Which I guess is going to be zap. I really hope I'm not getting attacked next turn. Let's take three here. They're not getting attacked. Although maybe it would be better if we had been. <laughs> Heck. Life is hard. Bummer.
All right, then. Do your dirty deeds. This is only 18, huh? Ouch. Need more card draw. Compile reverse card draw. Give me card draw. Guess we can't fight an elite after all. This costs 21 health. And I can rest. And I have meat on the bone. Let's do it. What do we got? Anchoridian. Start with a power card in our hand. We have seven cards turn one now. That's pretty sweet. Core Surge is really good. In this fight. Still a difficult fight, even with the curse, though. Or even without the curses, excuse me. Still, Hyper Beam will not be enough. That's a shame. Ah, well done, Spicy Curry. The Eviscerate Wristblade combo. I like it. And how's it going, Griffin Trun? Thanks for the 16 months. Fireworks. What to say? One short of three years. What do you say when you're almost at an anniversary? Happy almost anniversary. So is it just loop discharge? Algorithm defend? Maybe even skip the beam cell entirely? We need to make sure this cultist dies, though. Somewhat necessitates playing hyperbeam now, doesn't it? Ten damage a piece. Hmm. If I could choose where the lightning orbs hit, there might be a way to do it by playing the powers. Did we upgrade dual cast? That was our previous ill-fated defect run in Act 2. Okay, I want to play Beam Cell here, then Hyper Beam, Algorithm Defend. Also, is that going to be enough damage next turn? I guess we're going to find out. We have lots of energy. Again, or the Irreplaceable Potion, also an option, technically. for seven. So we could do 22 plus seven plus six. That sounds like enough. Barely holding on, but we are in fact holding on. Problem is our next fight has to be an elite. Let's hope we get a heal of some kind. Well, if we fight these three and win, that is a heal. And we can block the bear no effect. That's kind of cool, too. This definitely might be the situation for... Definitely might be, yeah. That's a, that's a way to phrase things. This could well be the situation we need to explosive potion in. That's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully hyperbeam shows up. There it is. 34 damage to all. Well, that conveniently kills two out of three, actually. But it does not kill the third one. 
Oh no, fireworks. To lose a pair of headphones is a tragic thing. Is it worth playing Sender first? Not really. I mean, we can kill Romeo with it, but what does that actually accomplish? Nothing. Can't get to three attack procs. Can't quite kill Bear either. Is Explosive Potion saving some health worth it? I doubt it when we are going to be able to level Algorithm here. It's also only 5 HP, not 10. So no, I don't think so. I do not think so. We get the red mask, weakening enemies on turn one. That actually significantly improves our odds in this elite fight. So, good. And a double energy, which is unmastered currently. And a pretty expensive deck overall. It's not useless. I'll grab one, but it might not be a good idea. Gurya is a bad idea. Lift to gain strength three times. This deck does not want to do that. We've got more important things to be upgrading. And we've got a Book of Stabbing to contend with. That is a difficult foe to be certain. Let me take the Jack of all trades here. Good news is, turn one Static Discharge. That's, that's good. Purity, interesting. Of course, now I draw the Storm. That's still fine. Oh, heck yeah. Hey. It's not your time. Do I lose the Hyper Beam? I don't think so. I think we keep it in the deck for now. Extra energy next turn. Two Lightning Orbs. I like it. Lone Wolf and Q with 14 months. Thank you for the support. Or Lone Wolf and Cub. Sorry, did I say Cube? That's not how that's pronounced. Thank you for 14 months. So we could perfectly full block by playing a reinforced body for three. I do not want to do that. Because I want to take a little bit of damage. So I'm going to intentionally underblock with defend reinforced body for two. Get two lightning orbs for taking two damage. Likewise again here. Same deal. Take two damage, get two orbs. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go charge battery reinforce body, just full block this. Deal 12, take another turn. This time I can kill. Mummified hand. Here we go. I, I really regret not taking that heat sinks. Come on, heat sinks. Cool headed. Mummy hand is crazy. Anytime we play a power, a random card in our hand becomes free. So, card draw becomes really important. Let's see. The common card is 74 to 91. We can maybe afford a card in the shop, and we can always afford a removal if we don't. Okay. That's gotta be worth it. Easy every time. That's exactly what I was hoping to find in that shop. Perfect. There's our card draw. Now, heat sinks plus storm plus creative AI is a constant uh, source of card draw and orb generation. It's pretty good. Take the extra power, why not? Show me the power. Realistically, I should probably play this.
Nice. Kill you? Question mark. Question mark indeed. Heck yeah, top deck the powers. Let's go. Oh my goodness, this deck got crazy. What is happening? Hello? <laughs> Amazing. Now we might want to add a turbo, since we have so much card draw. And I think it might be time to upgrade Storm. Uh, event or combat for the fight here? We have plenty of health, so an event seems reasonable, actually. Let's take an event. There's a chance we get really lucky here. Get offered apparitions, those I don't want. And let's upgrade, I guess, the turbo. Let's go and storm of the seas. Oh my goodness, free echo form turn one and a free magnetism turn one. Doesn't get much better than that. Dang. Don't even play the strike. So, first card we play each turn gets played twice. What do you got? Free skim. That's going to be broken. You can take that hyper beam. I don't need it. I've got other stuff going on. <laughs> Nine damage, huh? All right. I think I want to play Turbo or Overclock yet. Okay, here we go. Lots of shenanigans happening now. I'm going to double Algorithm to boost it twice. Then we're going to play Heat Sinks, Bias Cognition, Capacitor, Metamorphosis. Add a free Sunder into the draw pile. That's pretty powerful. Um, play the stack to get it out of my hand. Play Skim. Play Turbo. Play Static Discharge. There's Sunder for free. Heck yeah. Give me three more energy. I don't know how this deck got to this point, but I love it. And yeah, this is this is pretty fundamentally why I didn't take Velvet Choker. Because this would be unavailable if we had done that. Oh, thank you. I have two buffers for your hyper beam, so let's make it four buffers. I, I don't feel safe enough. Bonk. Dang. Dang. We can get to take a second creative AI or an electrodynamics. I think this might be the deck that wants two creative AIs. Let's do it. All powers all the time. What about the Awakened One, they say? What about the Awakened One, I say? Hmm. 
Astrolabe Busted Crown. Or Calling Bell. Already got some of the best relics. Seems hard to improve. Three transforms could be very nice. Doesn't seem like we need more energy at this point. So I'm not going to take Busted Crown, that's for sure. Astrolabe could indeed be powers. I would transform Strike, Defend, Defend and feel pretty good about it. I'm pretty good. Feeling pretty good about that. Bird-Faced Urn could be a great relic. That's true. We get another power. Machine Learning with an upgrade, a Compile Driver, and a Barrage. Those are all pretty decent. Not amazing, necessarily, but pretty decent. We're delighted to be informed that there is a 50% chance that we will not have to fight the Awakened One. That would be very convenient, that's for sure. Uh, I see a very reasonable path here. Three elites. Shop for a Carter move. Many more upgrades. We'd love to upgrade what? Reinforced body, double energy. Actually, not that many important upgrades. We could pick up a card that wants an upgrade, though. That's reasonable. Dang, that's a lot of card draw. Played the thingy? Yeah, we did. Could maybe take one more compile. We have two already, though, right? Yeah, we don't need a third one. Ooh, glowing Tesseract. Give me some colorless cards. Here's where we could achieve mastery of something, potentially. We can find two copies of the same colorless card that I want. Uh, we do find two copies of the same colorless card that I want. It's just not... Um, not something that's unmastered. I'm going to go ahead and take Double Discovery, as that can make more powers or other useful things. The Double Disco build. I think it's pretty useful overall. Do we want a trip? I don't feel like it. I think this run is fun. And I don't want to mess with it. Take some more events here on the way to the Elite. I am war, I am awake, or I am rich. Two normalities would be pretty crippling. There's only one shop ahead, not two. If there was two shops ahead, this would be a different story here. Of course, we'll randomly get one, I'm sure. Let's fight the boss. Basic, but very effective. Actually hurt me a bit. All good. Blippity blappity. All the Sundials participating too? That's pretty ludicrous, actually. This deck can definitely activate Sundial a lot because of how much draw we have. Lizard Tail. Revived to half health once if killed. Very good. I think we want a ball lightning here. What we want is another heat sinks. Like them. Alright, we might have to eat some damage turn one against these two chumps, but this will pay off, don't worry. What do you make? Another power. Powers are good, last I checked.
currently no reason to use either of the potions. So I wouldn't stress it too much here. And just like that, they're already gone. Didn't even play the algorithm? We can change that, maybe. Uh, no, you're dead. Wait. Oh yeah, you're dead. You get 300 bucks. Cool, that shop's gonna be a lot more valuable than I expected. There's a self-repair. Get in here. Disco time. Nice block. get meat on the bone and uh, self-repair to go off here. We have to take a little bit more damage. It's perfect, actually. Be back for that uh, algorithm, hopefully. Though if I do too much damage here, they'll just die outright. Slight issue. It's definitely a problem. All right, I'll play it the one time then. That's fine. Guess we're not playing this now. Issues, issues. Yeah, so if you're wondering why I didn't double self-repair there, it's because the storm would have killed the enemies upon playing uh, double self-repair. Although now they're actually just all dead, right? Ah, oh, shoot. I thought you were going to revive this turn. Damn it. Too much damage from our orbs. Crap. That was bad. Yeah, that was not good. Now I think Overclock is a good card for this deck. What about Enlightenment or Thinking Ahead? Hmm, not the worst actually. Thunderstrike could be actually pretty good. I think the Abacus is very good, especially as we remove... Let's remove Zap now. And I think we've actually reached the point where I'm no longer afraid of the Awakened One either. I'm going to buy that. Okay, that's all I'm going to take for now. I like that I got a good, got a good upgrade, too. Feels particularly great.
get two new powers each turn to continue the shenaniganry. Do I consider myself equally skilled on all the characters? No, I think I have the least amount of practice with Watcher. I'd say I'm probably the worst at her of, of, relative to the other characters. Morning Paradox. It's a lot of powers turn one. This could be the explosive potion, potentially. Oh, you actually die. That's good. Yeah, we got a lot of attacks headed our way here. Definitely the time to use overclock. Okay, we've got hyper beam. That's passable. We're definitely going to take some damage here, though. Don't love that. Ugh. Be back for that self repair? I suppose so. Of course, we'll miss it again, probably, right? This fight's not gonna last very long. Doubling it seems hard. Okay, just play it. We Korg, why did the defect get a job as a carpenter? Because they're talented at shelf repair. Boo this man. More cards turn one, here we go. A third creative AI is definitely getting clicked on. I don't think I've ever had a deck where I wanted triple creative AI before, but uh, here we are. Lose Barrage, don't mind if I do. Every card we can remove from this deck makes the Sundial and the Abacus more powerful, ultimately. That's pretty spicy. Giant Head the Rematch. Random bullshit, go! I wanna play this. Amplify, here we go. Back for you, Amplify. Draw five cards. Whenever we play a power. Amazing how often Discovery makes powers, too. Reboot it then. Oof. Two more creative AIs. now. Deck wants a recycle, though. To be really absurd. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Another cool-headed or another white noise. Oh, that's a tough choice. I think I actually want this cool-headed. But yet another random power is pretty sweet, too. I agree. Frost is Frost is good. Frost is very good at the moment. We're going to upgrade our double energy and our overclock. And don the red mask for 222 gold as we approach our bosses here. Thanks, Don. Thanks. All right. Yeah, if we fight Awaken one, it's definitely going to be an interesting fight. I'm hoping we just fight Time Eater here. Time Eater and uh, Donudeka would be much easier for us. Go ahead and block your debuff. Could block the Hyper Beam debuff, but I want to block Time Eater's debuff. And I don't think that I actually play the Hello World yet. I could even get rid of it entirely. Let's do that. No vulnerable for me. Or frail, actually. It's cute. Oops. It's fine. Okay, decent start. Say it just got a bit a bit better here too. You make darkness is fine. It's actually not a lot of block in the draw pile though, huh? Let's go darkness dual cast. Charge battery. And then play self-repair. Three cards next turn, that's kind of iffy. Or I could go overclock and get more energy. There we go. 12 card turns are where it's at. Go down to one orb here. Let's just stop the turn now. Hmm. Echo form is in play? Yes. I'll double this to start. I'm just gonna go turbo reinforced. Here we go. Now we can start blapping. I still want to double algorithms, so I'm going to refrain from finishing time meter here. Maybe just single algorithm. Oh no, that's perfect actually. It's guaranteed in the draw pile now.
Buffer. Double. GG. All right, on to the next boss, which is the Awakened One. Look out. It's Awakened One time. How will we fare against the Burb Nerb? Hey, greed is tempting. I don't need the money. Let's take a madness here. Okay, good turn one core surge, at least. We are going to play pretty much every power in this fight. Just spooky. It's definitely spooky. But the faster we do damage, the better. Just leave that madness for now. Do I think this deck would work without the storm? It would definitely be a lot weaker. It'd definitely be a lot weaker without the storm. Oh boy, no height sinks, huh? Oh boy. Welcome to Trouble Town. Population us. Reboot, that'll help. I'll play this too. Static discharge right now. Let's just do this. Is it time for the explosive potion? Maybe. Big maybe. Alright, that'll have to do. We're gonna take some damage here. Taking some damage in this fight is very expected. This turns the real dangerous one, though. We got the heat sink, so I think we just go. Is this gonna work or do we just die? No idea. Madness on Sunder would be very nice. Damn it. Pretty hose then. Sundial's coming up. Okay, just keep going then. Eighty damage incoming. That's actually not that bad. The fact that I've got two burns is a problem. The fact that I can't play this hyper beam is a problem. Played either creative AI, huh? Now we need to play one more. We need to play creative AI? Yeah. Although we can play this one and stop this turn where it is here. Let's do that. Take 15 this turn. We had recycle. Is this a charge battery reinforced? That's an awful turn to draw into, or is it though? Okay. Twenty-two by four. Echo form is here. You love to see it. Not in fact, love to see it. Coming. 
it's getting too powerful. And being full is our primary problem. Although we can cycle more aggressively if I keep playing powers. Just gonna say that. It bears repeating here. Two more energy if I can get seven draws. Probably have to play Overclock to do that. Currently we're blocking 40, I can make it 60. That's actually not enough to even survive, huh? Shoot. Sounds like I gotta keep playing Powers then. And it either works or it doesn't. That's a pretty bad one to draw. We do have a Lizard Tail. That part is true. Draws one. Looks like we're toast here. We only got one energy off that, too. Bummer, man. All right, so I think we use the Lizard Tail here, looks like. And then we try to win before the next multi-attack. Using the Lizard Tail here to win this fight is pretty reasonable, though. Let's see, 32, 32, 32. I need a little bit more health to survive. So let's do this. Don't play that beam. Perfect. And we have Echo Form in play now. Okay. Should maybe consider avoiding additional, uh, avoiding adding additional powers, at least for the moment. Well, if I see another Echo Form, I'll play that. No, I think it's time to go completely ham. Go. There we go. There we go. Buffer? Nope, but that should be more than enough damage. Get him. GG. All right, the Lizard Tail was used, but we get through the Awaken 1 fight. We're on to Act 4, and we're very, very, very strong with all of these powers in our deck. Two Thump, Two Thump, Two Thump. Deep Pulsing Dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the Heart of the Spire, the source of all this power? Ultimate power. Let's upgrade this. Well, I don't think many of our upgrades matter at this point. The answer was indeed, just play more powers. Until you can't anymore. Could have had mastered thinking ahead this run. 
What a shame. What a shame. How do I feel about Strange Spoon? Um, works on the discoveries mainly. That doesn't seem that important. Purity could help us get rid of some stuff during the fight. Purity actually seems really good. Take a purity to delete stuff. Uh, ornithopter is 10 health versus hearts. That's not bad. Let's take Ornithopter. I think we've got very good odds here. Uh, although better odds if we draw heat sinks in the early turns versus these two. There we go. Excellent. Play Creative AI or what? We're going to need Creative AI for the Heat Sinks power next turn. And I can just go for another power. Hello, world. Which lets me play Algorithm. I'm not going to do that. I'm also going to delete this, this, and this. Okay. Very good, very good. Can hologram the thing of a jig. Genetic algorithm, let's do that. Let's play that. Let the shenanigans ensue. Play all the powers, please. Another power. Turn keeps going, why not? Guarantee draw hyper beam one last time. Play hyper beam. Hyper Beam justifying its existence in the deck right there. Both teams fought hard. Well done, well done. No recycle or mastered cards, unfortunately, on this run, but it's a freaking awesome run, so I can't say I care that much. Onward. To glory versus the hearts. Let's take another purity here. Removing cards is definitely the easiest way for this to go well. Really glad we got that random heat sinks. Don't want to drink this until we're missing at least 5 HP. There we go. Heck yeah, discover a creative AI. Discovering an aggregate is also not bad, but not as good as discovering the creative AI. Surely. Seek. One of those heat sinks, please. My face hurts, though. Have you considered the fact that my face hurts? Beat of Death is definitely taking us on a ride here. Defend, Turbo, Creative AI. Reinforce Body, Creative AI. Sunder, Pile Driver. And then I could purity away some cards if I wanted. This looks like a pretty good draw. Get three random powers next turn. It's pretty exciting. Script check-in. Dead. Here is a... Link looks like server disconnected. Here's your log for you.
All right. Um, maybe I exhaust Hyper Beam. And Hello Worlds and Overclock? Yes. Hyper Beam, Overclock, Hello Worlds. Okay, turn one over. We're not frail. We are vulnerable, though. We have no Echo Form in play. I'm just going to go ahead and play Bias Cognition. I don't think this fight is going to last very long. Reinforced is here. That's a pretty good stopping point for this turn if we want to. I would also like to get Purity into my hand so that we can exhaust these stinky statuses. Although several of them are disappearing already. I can draw them next turn. Okay, let's just do that. form is here. Hmm. Uh-oh. Now there's no room in my hand for statuses. Guess the wound is fine. I can get rid of defend, burn, dual cast. That's acceptable. And then this should activate Sundial for me. So the idea with these two purities is now that we've deleted so many cards. that we should be able to pull off uh, an infinite combo, actually. Or at least very close to it. Close enough. And then each new turn we get new powers to play. We just cycled the Compilers, actually. This is a, a proper infinite combo now. Not that we needed it. What a great run, man. GG. Sunder for one damage. Mr. Hart. Bonk. Truly an absurd. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.